you guys. This is good. Good to be hanging out in Logan, as always. Like hanging out here. Uh, does anyone like live in the area here? Anyone live like close to Logan? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. What's um your address? What's your apartment number? What is? <laughs> Just looking for a couch to crash on. Honestly, uh, Ubers are expensive, so. That's good. I do have to work uh, tomorrow, though. I'm, I'm working tomorrow. I'm an engineer. I work with all engineers, and I have a theory. I think every engineer... Oh, we got some engineers? Got one? Okay, well, okay. What, uh, what type of engineer do you do? Electrical. Electrical. Okay, yeah. You do not want to get talked to. I can already tell. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. Okay, yeah. Well, okay, just let's see if we have the same theory. I don't know. As I work with all engineers, uh, mechanical myself, but uh, I think every engineer I've ever met is uh, a little bit on the spectrum. I think that uh, <laughs> just comes with the territory. <laughs> Someone answered for you. That's good. <laughs> I don't know. If you don't believe me, just go up to, like, any engineer and lightly put a hand on their back. <laughs> Just see how long it takes before they freak the fuck out. It's a fun game. <laughs> the over-under is one second, so let me know how it goes. Just report back. I don't know. It's, we're all a little socially off. Some re I don't know. Like I first noticed this in college in this uh, lab where every engineer failed this lab. For We just had to, like, all we had to do was just form our own groups, and uh, that was it. We just, <laughs> no one... <laughs> Could handle it. We all freaked out. We're like, give me the F. This is too much pressure. I just want to get out of here. But I don't. That's the trade-off. If you want to be an engineer, I think you got to be a little bit on the spectrum. That's why I think it's weird where my friends now are like, how do we get our kids into engineering? I'm just like, ah, you can try uh, getting them vaccinated. See that shakes something loose. I don't know how it works exactly, but might do something. They're like, we've been showing them Bill Nye clips. You think that'll work? I'm like. Not unless he's got an episode about avoiding eye contact. That's the only way. I'm sorry. Boys is fucked. But the weird thing, like, all the best engineers are, like, way on the spectrum. That's, like, um, you know, Elon Musk, like, Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein all had Asperger's. So, like, I'm not saying we need to figure out how to give more kids autism, but if we want to solve this global warming thing, we got to start taking some swings somewhere. I don't know what the solution is. Maybe we just factor it into the admissions process in engineering school, at least, right? Like, oh, you know, Kevin took five AP classes his senior year. Okay, well, Dave's had a train-themed birthday party for 10 years running, so maybe... <laughs> maybe we give him a shot in the fall, that's all I'm saying. You know, let's, let's see what he can do now. Got a chortle, there we go. Checklist, Tim. <laughs> I did, yeah, I am, uh, I'm dating a uh, human woman now. I'm dating a... Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that, big step for me. We've been, uh, we've been dating for about a year, so we're trying to spice things up. We just tried uh, choke sex. Whoa, hey, <laughs> pretty spicy. Pretty spicy. <laughs> That is, of course, where she gets like really, really close to uh, coming, right? And then I uh, choke completely and can't finish the job. So, it's <laughs> kind of my move. Um, <laughs> I do, I try to last uh, long enough for, for her to come, because I am a feminist and a hero. Um, <laughs> That's why I uh, think of baseball during sex. That's why I think of baseball during sex, because if I'm batting over a 300 average, I'm doing amazing. So, <laughs> that's pretty fun. You can use that one, you know? And if you're batting over 500, it's time to go pro. I don't know why you're here. Let's get you some money. You're, you're a skillful person. That was the new one. Well done, you guys. You sniffed it out pretty well. <laughs> I do, I do think whatever you're doing in bed, you gotta have a good uh, safe word, right? You have a good safe word. Mine's Poughkeepsie. <laughs> Feel free to use that one. I think it's good. Cause it's like, it's distinct, it's specific, and you can still get it out with a belt around your neck. You know, <laughs> so you can still. <laughs> That's the silliest one I got. So it doesn't get, it doesn't get better than that. 
excited. Uh, pandemic's, yeah, almost over. That's pretty cool. I feel like we're getting there. Um, I had a pretty unproductive pandemic overall. I don't know about you guys. I uh, pretty much just, like, barely worked on my laptop every day and then, like, walked around my neighborhood looking at the rich people's houses. That was the whole thing, <laughs> essentially. People are like, what did you learn about yourself during quarantine? I'm like, that my taste is way outside of my budget, honestly. That's <laughs> pretty much it. I don't know about you. I did get pretty into uh, mushrooms over the pandemic. That was uh, it's a good time for that. Yeah, <laughs> I got some applause from the, the high people on the balcony. Hell <laughs> yeah. I, I think it was, it was a perfect time to get into them because all my friends are like, oh, we can't you know, travel anymore. <laughs> I'm like, really? Because I took plenty of trips. I didn't even need to leave my apartment. It was a pretty fun little hack for you. It was pretty cool. But I do think mushrooms are the best drug out there because, like, not only are they pretty fun, they also show me a bunch of shit I need to work on about myself. That was pretty wild, you know? I don't think any other drug gets that level of honesty with you, you know? Like, I've never seen anyone at, like, 2 a.m. in a bathroom stall just rip a line of coke, like... I should call my mom more. I should really... <laughs> hop on that. That should be what I'm doing. Very good. Uh, I'm gonna end on a couple of impressions for you guys, if that's cool. A couple impressions. Right. Smattering of applause. That's why I do it. There we go. <laughs> All right, this, uh, I'm, uh, you know, a lot of people do impressions of like people or characters, uh, but I'm an engineer, I'm around machines all day, so all I can do is impressions of machines, so. All right, here we go. This, uh, first one is a iPhone 7 that's buried in a couch. iPhone 7 buried in a couch. Thank you. Thank you. I heard someone say it's so stupid. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> we didn't come out on a Friday night for high art. Um. <laughs> okay. Serious time. Okay, this next one is an iPhone 5 with no case on a wooden end table. Thank you, thank you. All right, then uh, just shout it out. If you know what this last one is, just shout it out if you know, if you know what this one is. What was it? Glass table, that's close. It's actually one of the uh, black square things Panera Bread gives you for one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks so much, you guys. It's been great.